We are given the implicit equation and asked to determine dy dx. Our first step is to differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. And now on the left, we differentiate tangent of the quantity x minus y with respect to x. This will require the chain rule where the inner function u is x minus y. The derivative of tangent u with respect to x is equal to secant squared u times u prime, which gives us secant squared of the quantity x minus y times u prime, where u prime is the derivative of x minus y with respect to x. And the derivative of x with respect to x is one, minus the derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx. Equals, on the right, because we have a quotient, we will apply the quotient rule of differentiation, where for the denominator of the derivative with respect to x, we have the square of the original denominator, which is the square of the quantity five plus two x squared. In the numerator, we have the denominator of the quantity five plus two x squared times the derivative of the numerator with respect to x. The derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx. And then we have minus the numerator of y times the derivative of the denominator with respect to x, which is four x. And now for the next step, let's distribute secant squared of the quantity x minus y on the left and let's also break the right up into two separate fractions. Distributing secant squared of the quantity x minus y, we have secant squared of the quantity x minus y, and then minus secant squared of the quantity x minus y times dy dx. Equals on the right. Again, let's write this as two separate fractions where first we have the quantity five plus two x squared times dy dx divided by the square of the quantity five plus two x squared. Notice one factor of the quantity five plus two x squared will simplify out, leaving us with dy dx divided by one factor of five plus two x squared. And then we have minus four xy divided by the square of five plus two x squared. And now we need to isolate the dy dx terms on one side of the equation. Notice right now we have a dy dx term on the left and on the right. We also need to have all the non dy dx terms on the other side. So let's go ahead and add secant squared of the quantity x minus y times dy dx to both sides and also add four x y divided by the square of the quantity five plus two x squared to both sides. This will give us secant squared of the quantity x minus y plus four x y divided by the square of the quantity five plus two x squared equals on the right dy dx divided by one factor of five plus two x squared and then plus secant squared of the quantity x minus y times dy dx. And for the next step, we'll factor out the dy dx from the right side of the equation, which gives us dy dx times one divided by the quantity five plus two x squared plus secant squared of the quantity x minus y. And now we are going to add the two fractions on the left and add the two fractions on the right by obtaining a common denominator. Notice on the left, the common denominator is going to be two factors of the quantity five plus two x squared. And then if we multiply the numerator and denominator of secant squared of the quantity x minus y over one by two factors of five plus two x squared, And on the right, if we write secant squared of the quantity x minus y as a fraction with the denominator of one, we multiply the numerator and denominator by one factor of five plus two x squared. So now going back to the left, when we add, 
we can see the common denominator is going to be two factors of the quantity five plus two x squared. And the numerator is now the square of the quantity five plus two x squared times secant squared of the quantity x minus y plus four xy. And then on the right, we have dy dx times the fraction where the common denominator is just one factor of five plus two x squared. And the numerator is going to be one plus, let's write this product as the quantity five plus two x squared times secant squared of the quantity x minus y. And now let's continue on the next slide. And now to solve for dy dx, we are going to multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of the fraction here on the right, or the reciprocal of the quantity one plus the quantity five plus two x squared times secant squared of the quantity x minus y, divided by the quantity five plus two x squared. So again, notice how we multiplied both sides of the equation by the same fraction, which is reciprocal of the fraction here being multiplied by dy dx. So on the right, because we're multiplying reciprocals, the product of these two fractions is equal to one, leaving us with dy dx on the right. And on the left, notice how one factor of the quantity five plus two x squared will simplify out because we have one factor in the numerator here that simplifies to one, and then one factor of the quantity five plus two x squared simplifies here, leaving us with just one factor of the quantity five plus two x squared here. Which means dy dx is equal to the quantity five plus two x squared squared times secant squared of the quantity x minus y plus four xy all over if we distribute the five plus two x squared, we have one factor of five plus two x squared plus two factors of five plus two x squared times secant squared of the quantity x minus y. And now we have dy dx. I hope you found this helpful.